Evolution. And Raw is Logan NXT. Max Thrasher considers Scott Logan to be the very best WWE Games storyteller of all time. So if you haven't checked out his creative stories yet, Max Thrasher suggests you that you do so. It is in Max Thrasher's nature to pick on his friends just a little bit. So Scott, buddy old pal, Logan, this friendly bird from one great storyteller to another is just for you. People who saved hundreds of dollars on their, guy, on their car insurance by switching to Geico sure are happy. How happy are they? Happier are Scott Logan and Shiloh when they find out that Fawn Dong Goes gimmick is based on them. Dang. There goes another one of my fans. Max's stories are better. Okay. Okay. Sure. Welcome back to Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. We would like to remind everyone that this Sunday is the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. If you haven't done so already, make sure you call your local cable operator to order what we all witnessed here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Who still calls their cable company to order? Who still does that? All you do is you hit the T button on the TV and you get the pay-per-view. Or you order it online. I mean, who still calls? No one. Get with the times, Max. You are not going to want to miss anything out of, at miss. You're not going to want to missing to be missing out on all the action this Sunday at Extreme Rules. I can't wait this Sunday, Michael. Extreme Rules sound like it's going to be an amazing pay review. Some of the matches already scheduled will be The Miz squaring off against Kofi Kingston for the Intercontinental Title. In what type of match? I don't know. The Rock and John Cena will face each other in an epic WrestleMania rematch. And the hottest topic on everyone's mind, which is also Twitter trending worldwide, is the infernal match between the WWE Champion CM Punk and the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla, Chris Jericho. Now it's time for the SmackDown Rebound, rebound brought to you by WWE Films, The Call. Available on DVD this Tuesday. Even though actually I think this one was actually in theaters. Unlike most WWE films, movies. I do believe this one was in theaters. So, Come on. The main event on Friday Night Smackdown. There was a cage there. It was a triple threat match between Randy Orton... Kane and the Big Show to determine the number one contender. You're right. In a sense. But there was a cage there. But I know there was three choices so they couldn't. he couldn't pick one that he knows everyone would do. So When the match ended, Sheamus congratulated Randy Orton for becoming the number one contender. contender. Then he should have broke kicked his face, his head off. That would have been an added, nice added touch. Anyway, what's this? He's here. Yes! Nice red! That must be his raw attire. Oh, and he's on the cell phone. Ain't no problem. Johnny Laurinaitis is all on this. Yeah, I got my red attire. Oh, no, oh, I'm gonna let... Yeah, forget about it, man. I'm, I'm Johnny Ace. I got all... Yeah, fuck you. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just telling a fan to fo fuck himself. He's being an asshole. Yeah, that's right. Hey, fuck you too, you piece of shit. Oh, it's not that. Just telling off another fan, you know. Strung down to the ring right now. Why is this idiot talking on the phone while entering to the ring, Nicole? Oh, man, that is great. That is fucking. Uh, but, uh, yeah, fuck yeah, man. That's what we're talking about here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, another fan. Just, just, they just forget. He's getting in my face, too. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing this new, uh. Nifty red suit? Yeah, it's, it's my raw attire, actually. I have a blue one for SmackDown? Alright, goodbye. He's Big Johnny King. He can do whatever he wants. At least for the time being. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm back. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. I also have this uh, NXT attire. It's yellow, man. I don't, I'm never on NXT, but man, it's a nice attire. And I have this special one for Sunday's Extreme Rules. Just wait. 
And that was Big Johnny's phone call conversation, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Do you believe in miracles? If you don't, you better now. Word life. This is basic, basic thugonomics. The champ is here. Why is he coming out to basic thugonomics? No matter who or where you are, the WWE Universe, you have to love this. The doctor of thugonomics is in the house. Hershey PA just got sweeter. Oh, it's The Rock. The champ is here. Doctor says, know your damn role. Here he comes. The Rock is still wearing his toupee. I see that you're still spelling that word wrong, Michael. <laughs> he even knows that he's spelling it wrong. I'll sign it first. There are now, you fruity pebbles. All right, champ, it's official now. Congratulations to both of you for being able to act civilized. This Sunday at Extreme Rules, no matter what happens, the both of you should be very proud of yourselves for being such amazing WWE champions. The WWE Universe fans, thank you. I thank you. And Vince McMahon thanks you for giving each and every one of us to relive an amazing WrestleMania moment. There's only one last thing to say here. Good luck to both of you this Sunday. Now get Cena, Rock! So what's going to happen? You're going to get to see... Uh... This attack oh, what the hell? About a get off of John Laurinaitis. What do you think you're doing? The Rock's going to beat your candy ass yes! all over the Extreme Rules Arena. You're going to see him just wrinkled his, his attire. It's not very nice. The end of the Mizzitude Part 6. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we finally came to an end of yet another amazing part. Is this supposed to be, uh, is this supposed to be Mrs. Producer? Or is this supposed to be Max saying this? Because I want to know if I should do a Mrs. Producer voice for this. I don't think it is. Part of the Mizzitude. I was planning Dad. Yeah, it's obviously him if he's saying I. I was planning Dad the final SmackDown show before the Extreme Rules pay review in this Part 6. But Part 6 was getting very long. So for all the Mizzitude fans, Part 7 will be the final SmackDown show. And Part 8 will be the Extreme Rules pay-per-view as the finale to the Mizzitude series. I hope you all enjoyed playing Part 6. And now please spread the word around about this series to all your friends. Thanks again to my fans for, play for their support. It makes me very happy knowing that I make all you misfits happy. Hey Max, I bet you don't even know why 6 was afraid of 7. You're right, Miz. I don't know why six was afraid of seven. Because seven, eight, nine. Get it? It's my way of saying the Mizzitude getting only... Uh, the Mizzitude... It's my way of saying the Mizzitude better only be eight parts. I kind of butchered that last line, but... Anyway, thank you all once again for joining me for the Mizzitude. We have just finished the Mizzitude Part 6, and uh, I'll be coming back to you very, very soon with Part 7 in this phenomenal series. And once again, if you guys have yet to play it, be sure to go ahead, download the series, show us Max Thrasher some support by liking every one of the, every one of the parts that he has out there. Um, and I will see you guys when we come back for Part 7.